We do have some breaking news right now. A search and rescue operation is underway off the coast of Japan. Two U.S. Marine aircrafts were involved in what authorities are calling a mishap. A refueling operation between a KC-130 and F-18 between the jets. There were reportedly seven Marines on board, and we are working to learn more for you. New at 5, an investigation is underway after a young American woman is found dead near her Airbnb. It's a tragic story that started with a trip abroad to Costa Rica to celebrate her birthday. Day. Two Works for You reporter Giselle Puente has new information on how everything unfolded and what you can do to protect yourself. Brian Karen, this trip overseas was meant to be fun, celebration of Carla Stefaniak's 36th birthday, but she never made it back home. Her alleged killer, a security guard where she was staying at the Airbnb, is now in custody. This video of Carla Stefaniak shows her fun and adventurous spirit. The last time her loved ones heard from her was November 27th, a day before she was scheduled to fly back home to Florida. She checked into an Airbnb to explore on her own. Then the texting and phone calls suddenly stopped. Her body was later found. Rebecca Gaines is an avid traveler from Tulsa. Just like Carla, she too traveled to Costa Rica back in 2014 by herself. I just was feeling adventurous and so I wanted to go somewhere and I really wanted to learn how to surf and do yoga. While she says she never felt unsafe, she still took precautions. Got online and I started researching places and I found a place where the owner was from Seattle, which made me feel a little bit more comfortable because I am not fluent in speaking Spanish. Travel agents in the area also suggest staying in touch with someone you trust. Set up a check-in time with somebody back here in the States. Again, your trusted friend or relative um, that knows you're going to be out of the country on your own. Authorities say Carla's body was found about 300 yards from the Airbnb she was staying. Now, the company released a statement today saying it has removed that place from its listings. Reporting in downtown Tulsa, Jitzel Puente, to Works for You.